Welcome to Thoughts and Teens in Focus. I'm your host, Patricia Trim. Welcome you to another edition of Thoughts and Teens in Focus. Can you believe it? We are here in 2018, having fun with Thoughts and Teens. Yes, Thoughts and Teens in Focus, a community program that en indulge our community, leaders, and friends of Thoughts and Teens to join us on this program with Thoughts and Teens in Focus. Today, our show is based on a tribute to our leader, Dr. Reverend Evelyn John. She has made her transition and we are proud to have her and to, uh, uh, um, and to have her on this show, seeing that she was one of our um, one of our helper, she will give us some views about, you will hear her voice once more, Dr. Reverend Evelyn Rose John. The roses of the garden, the roses there God has been bowed out and taken down. And she, as she uh, um, leave her earthly garment and pick up her heavenly garment. We are proud to say farewell, farewell to you, Dr. Evelyn John. Here's a little bit of Dr. Evelyn John as she gave you a little more um, advice. And you know she's very much the divine love is all that she can tell you. Divine love. Here a little bit of Dr. Evelyn, Dr. Reverend Evelyn John. The rose from the rose from Guyana has taken her transition. Peace and love. Welcome to New Life Center of Truth Community Service. My name is Reverend Evelyn Rose John. I'm the founder minister, and I'm always happy to come and share these words with you because I know it will strengthen, it will illumine, it will heal, and it will prosper you. So at this time, let us relax, let go, and let God, and listen. And now relax the choir to sing for you. Yes, Dr. Reverend Evelyn Rose John, Minister of New Life Center of Truth, Snyder Avenue, 2400 Snyder Avenue. And also she was the minister in um, Guyana Unity Church in Princess Street. Reverend Rose, Reverend John, as everybody know her, Reverend John, she was well known. She is from Guyana, and she's the first person that really got people involved in the Unity Church in Guyana. All because our country was going through a crisis, and people needed prayers and needed help. Pink Slip was, was going all the time to, to um, the workers and so to find comfort and peace in the afternoon at the Guyana Unity Church in Georgetown, Guyana on Princess Street. Everybody will march down to that church just to have that singing and hear that voice of um, Dr. Reverend Evelyn John who made us and her singing, her voice of songs that she sang that everyone was so happy to hear. Um, she she did it all. She sang, she preached, 
She made, made persons happy. She visited the sick in hospital. She gave Thanksgiving service. What more can I say about Dr. Evelyn John? She was a wonderful person. I do love her. And um, this picture is because she was in the studio and I had about two years having her here to give her community talk to um, the community, um, which was very inspirational and um, informative for persons who needed help. She was a, 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 an angel in time of need. She was an, a, a blessing in time of need. She was a prayer in time of need. She was everything that you could think about. She helped a lot of Guyanese people who came from Guyana uh, in the church. They all came there. Some passed on. Some went home. Some changed to other um, states. But whatever and whoever was there at the time with her, Dr. Reverend John made them a blessing, made each and every one of us a blessing. Because in the still small voice, we still can pray. We can still can see her face. We still can hear her voice in prayers, in our thanksgiving, praying for us, blessing us. Yes, that was the role of Reverend Evelyn John. This is one song that I love to hear um, Dr. Evelyn John sing. Um, I'm not a singer, but I will try. The song is One Day at a Time. And I know that One Day at a Time um, is a lesson that each and every one of us can take. And if you can just listen to it, I'm not a singer like Reverend John, but I will read the lyrics, and, and I know that some of you parents may have known of this song, and Reverend John loved to sing this song. It's one day at a time, sweet Jesus. Let me see if I can sing. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. Mm -mm, no, you're not going to laugh me. It's one day at a time, sweet Jesus. I'm only human. I'm just a woman. Help me believe in what I can be. And all that I am, show me the stairway I have to climb. Lord, for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. Yes, Reverend John. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. That's all I'm asking from you. Just give me the strength. To do every day what I have to do. Yes, Reverend John, you did it. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus. And tomorrow may never be mine. Yes, Reverend John. Lord, help me today. Show me the way one day at a time. Lord, do you remember when you walked among men. Well, Jesus, you know, if you're looking below, it's worse now than then. Cheating and stealing, violence and crime. So for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. Yes, Reverend John, this was your song. One day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking from you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. Lord, help me today. Show me the way, one day at a time. Yes, yes, Jesus. Today we are here. Tomorrow it may never be mine. Reverend John, who has um, trans, 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 transcend to our heavenly throne, has left her earthly garment. She will be laid to rest. The time this show came over, 
She will later rest on Saturday. I think that's the 19th. Today is the 7th. Today is the 18th, 19th. On Saturday, 20th. A beautiful soul. She pray for everybody. Dead, marriage, dead, marriage, sick. Reverend John, you were there. And your time has come. I never believe that you would make this transition this early. I always see you as an old woman in your 90s and you're still preaching. Reverend John, may you rest in peace. May you rest in peace. May you rest in peace. You will be late to rest. She uh, was late to rest on Saturday 20th um, of February. And um, a beautiful soul. I just remember her, me, and her sitting in this, in this um, studio. And we do our recording. Um, she do our recording. And, and the little pitik, pitik woman, <laughs> I call her pitik, pitik, walking a little pitik. And um, she came to the studio for two years. We were in the studio every month doing the show, the community, spiritual community show. I will miss you, Reverend John. I love you. Although I had moved from your church and went to another church, I still remember those great days because sometimes we got to move. Sometimes we got to go on. As I removed from Unity Church, I went to, um, I am at Christian Culture Center, but my heart is still with unity. And um, you have taught me a lot from Guyana. You, f on my first visit to your church in Guyana, when you said, if you have faith to believe, faith is a mustard seed, you can get mountains. And I had faith. I went you, with your mission, Reverend John. I went and I bought a house. I had no money, but faith made me get it. That's why I so love you, and I so respect you, and I so be with you because when I went to the church, I met you the first time because I'm a Catholic. You give me a prayer, and I said the prayer, and I become um, part of the church. But after you left and you went away, came away to America, I did not stay. But when I came to America, it was two churches, either your church or Christian Culture Center. And um, I was going to Christian Culture Center. Um, Bernard, and I still used to come to your church and visit because when I came with the children from Guyana, you raised funds for me, you helped me out with Tossentine's program, and I'm grateful. So um, when I went there um, to the church, I, I, take, um, I, walk, I went over to Christian Cultural Center where I am, um, but I still remember you. <laughs> So you did a lot for me. You helped me along the way. You helped me with my program. You were there for me. And I will always remember that. And because of that, I encourage you to have this community talk because I see there's a shining light. There's a glaze. But Evelyn, Rose John, you made your transition. You will always be remembered by me. And your voice will always be. So we will hear Reverend John with another um, with another voice before we close her up. Before we close this sh show. I would like to share these few words from Philippians with you. Chapter 4. Therefore my brethren and long for my joy and crown. So stand fast in the Lord. Beloved, I implore Yulia and implore Syntec to be of the same mind 
in the Lord. And I urge you also, true companion, have these women who labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and the rest of my fellow workers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatsoever th things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is any praise worthy, meditate on these things. The things which you have learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the peace of God will be with you. And here ends our scripture lesson. And now, Yes, the peace of God will be with you, Dr. Reverend John. We will miss that same nice voice, that voice, that voice that brings us to, your, to you, that voice that calms the nerve, that voice that is so solemn. That voice is now silent. That smile is not there. That little petite <laughs> is not there anymore. All we can do now is just smile and say, work well done. Farewell, farewell, beautiful rose. I know you'll be a rose, God's rose, the rose in the garden you will be. The lesson I would like to share with you today, take charge of you. Make your own decisions. I once heard the story of a woman who related how she wanted a patio set for her new home. She was invited to a garage sale not very far away, and the owners were selling their almost new patio set for less than half of what it cost. She hesitated. It wasn't the cost. It was a price she could afford. Should she get it? 
she like it? Would her friends like it? Would she bring there someone with her to see what they think? Needless to say, when she went back to the sale the next weekend, the set had been sold. We all have dreams and ideas about what we would like to do and where we would like to go. But instead of focusing on our goals and where we would like to go, we look around. There is always a but. What moves us to not act with certainty in a situation? Maybe we feel we are not good enough. We are not old enough. We do not have enough money. What would people think? Maybe I'm thinking too much of myself. Who will ever believe me? Who will buy my product? This is when we have to embrace the power of God in us. This is where we have to develop our spiritual identity. At this stage, the level of our relationship with God is essential. We have to have the faith that God will give us divine direction and the strength to fulfill our goals. Okay, that was a reflection of Dr. Reverend Evelyn Rose John. Farewell, farewell. My mother, a minister, a teacher, a friend, farewell, farewell. A grandmother, a great aunt, an aunt, farewell, farewell. That was Thoughts and Teens in Focus as we bid our dear mother, minister, Reverend Dr. Evelyn Rose John, as we bid her farewell. She has trans, trans, transcend to the, her higher plane. I know she is going to be a wonderful minister here in heaven. God love her more than we do. Farewell, farewell. Wow.